Hi, my name is Francisco and welcome to this series where I'm going to try and help you develop your thesis or your dissertation starting with this video on how to shape your research idea all the way until the end on preparing yourself for the oral defense. Now just to keep in mind that um, most recommendations that I have throughout this entire series they apply mostly to marketing students or students of any management related course. So every semester um, I have students that come up to me and they have an initial idea of their research project but it's not really structured or they have a direction they want to go into but they don't know how to structure it. And um, what I want to do here is give you a few tips on how you can frame uh, the ideas that you have in mind and how that can become an actual research aim that can actually be applied. So the first thing that you would have to do is structure your idea. And um, in order to do that, it's very important that it's clear for you the distinction between what is context and what is theory. So first, let's focus on context. If you're passionate about cars, if you're passionate about music, if you like gaming, if you like food, if you like traveling, now these are all contexts. Contexts are also specific markets or consumer groups. So for example, if you want to do a study on uh, the implementation of virtual reality during music festivals in Italy. Now that's, those are all context. So you have a context which is the product that you define, which is virtual reality. You have uh, another context which is a situational context, which is music festivals. And you also have a particular market, which is Italy. So all those three are context. And the more specific you are, uh, the better it is, because the clearer it is of what you want to do. And you can even add to that a particular consumer group. If you want to be even more specific and compare different age groups. So how do millennials and seniors uh, compare in relation to perception of implementing virtual reality during music festivals in Italy? Now that's a really rounded, well-defined uh, context. So the more specific, the better it will be. But the question is, how do you define your context? I have two suggestions. First one is, as cheesy as it may sound, but follow your passion. So what do you actually like? Do you like music? Do you like sports? Do you like gaming? Do you like food? Do you like uh, racing? What is it that you like? Choose a context that you like because uh, you're going to spend so much time writing your thesis or your dissertation and it's very important that you do about something that you actually enjoy. The second thing that I would suggest is and consider the relevance of this context. For example, assume that you like cars. Now, in uh, the beginning of uh, 2019, electric cars and also autonomous vehicles, that's what is actually relevant about cars at the moment. So if you're discussing makeup or music or whatever it is, what would be relevant in this particular moment? So if you're, if you're reading, for example, musicstats.org, uh, you see that I write on artificial creativity in music. So algorithms can compose songs. So that's something that at the moment is very important for the music industry and therefore I research it because not only I like it but it's also relevant. So consider those two things, your passion and relevance. Now once you define your context, the following stage is uh, defining your theoretical framework, defining theoretical concepts that you want to link to your context. So for example, going back to virtual reality in music festivals, what about it that you want to discuss? Do you want to see the impact that that has on the actual uh, experience? Do you want to know how much that's going to influence the attitude towards the festival? Do you want to understand how consumers would decide, how would they evaluate these technologies? So if you're discussing decision-making process, if you're discussing attitude, if you're discussing experience, these are all theoretical concepts that you're going to discuss on your literature review and they're going to define your theoretical framework. But how you define the theoretical concepts that are related to your context? And here, my friend, there's no shortcut. Uh, the only way in, you can, in which you can define that is by diving into the literature, reading what has been done in relation to that particular context and start linking things uh, and defining that, th uh, that theoretical framework. And unfortunately, there's no shortcut apart from reading, taking notes and discussing these ideas that you have with your supervisor. Now, once you define your context and once you define your theoretical framework, now you're very close to defining your research aim. And your research aim is very important because it's a objective 
clear, simple statement that directly defines what your study is going to be about. So for example, one research aim could be this thesis aims to investigate the impact of the implementation of virtual reality in music festivals in Italy on the consumer overall experience uh, or in the attitude towards the festival, something along those lines. Now, why is that? A, why would that be a good research aim? Because you're, you're clearly specifying your research context, but also giving indication of the theoretical framework that the reader is going to find in your literature review in the, the chapters to come. In order to find this literature, in, for you to create the, 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 your theoretical framework, make sure that you have a look on the online database of your institution or of your university, and also have a look on um, Google Scholar. You can, can find a bunch of stuff on Google Scholar. You can also find a bunch of things on uh, ResearchGate, for example, or emailing directly authors uh, and, and asking for copies of their work or contacting publishers. After you define your research aim, uh, the following step would be to define your research objectives. Now, the research objectives, they are step by step all the procedures that you're going to go through in order to fulfill your aim. So usually your first uh, research objective, it would have to do with the review of the relevant literature involving blah, 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 your theoretical concepts. If usually the first objective will always be in relation to the review of the literature. The following objectives, uh, and they have to be also, again, very clear, they have to do with data collection. So if you can have, and that's, again, going to define project by project, but one can be in relation to a descriptive phase where you have a structured survey or a causal phase where you have a, a laboratory experiment, uh, and make sure to separate them, that each objective has to do with a data collection. And finally, you're gonna have your last one, which is uh, your managerial recommendation and make sure to clearly state that the, your managerial recommendations uh, will be beneficial for managers from the context that you're working with. So if, you, if it's a project on virtual reality, that it's going to benefit people that work with virtual reality. Or if it's in, in relation to music festivals, that's going to benefit people from music festivals. So your last one, managerial recommendations in relation to the context of your study. Yeah, so those will be generally my, uh, my recommendations. Just going through really quickly once again, first of all, structure your idea, what is context and what is theory. Your context, choose something that you like and also choose something which is timely. In relation to your uh, theoretical framework, make sure to dive into the literature. There's no other way uh, other than that. So go to Google Scholar, online databases of your institution or your university, just download a bunch of studies in relation to your context, start linking these studies, identifying what about it that you want to investigate, and very important, discuss that with your supervisor so you can frame really well your theoretical framework. After you have your context and your theory, combine those two into a very clear objective and simple research aim and following that your research objectives so step by step on what you're going to do in order to fulfill that aim first objective is always a review of the literature and so on and so on your following objectives have to do with data collection and your final objective with managerial recommendations and also uh, keep in mind that all of these suggestions, they are also written on the original article, which is on the description below. Uh, don't forget that on musicstats.org, there's a whole section there on thesis support where you can find a bunch of material that I have um, taken the time to write to you and hopefully it can be useful. And the last thing, I'm not gonna ask you to be liking, subscribing this stuff. What I want you to do is uh, pour yourself a nice wine, listen to a beautiful song called Life on Mars by Mr. David Bowie and hopefully it's going to uh, inspire you with your ideas and that you can develop an awesome research project for your dissertation or your thesis. All the absolute best and take care.